Hello, tarot friends. This is Ultraviolet Morgan, and we're going to get into the Camelot Oracle. Now, I went downstairs to see if I could find my book, which I could not. I read The Once and Future King a long time ago, and that was a very difficult read. It is not easy reading, <laughs> by any means. Um, but I got another one. Uh, picked it up and started to read it and put it down because I became very angry with um, Merlin. I've always been a huge fan of Merlin and um, King Arthur and everything Arthurian. Um, I became very angry with the way that he was treating women, which of course it is medieval times. Um, the way that he very callously felt extremely entitled to completely um, make decisions um, about the lives of women. I wish I had it so I could remember the details exactly, but I don't know where I put it because I put it aside for a while because I just was so aggravated with him. And then I wasn't even sure that I wanted the Camelot Oracle. Um, but I'd then, of course, I decided to get it. <laughs> so, here it is. So it's in this very big, sturdy box. And I am going to read that book. If I'm going to be dealing with um, Arthurian Camelot Oracles, etc., then... I'm going to need to be aware of the the lore uh, beyond, you know, just what's given to you in the um, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Beyond what's given to you in the guidebook pertaining to the cards, it can never as as wonderful as a guidebook can be. It it sh I should never. It should always be the beginning of your studies or the middle of your studies, never the end of your studies, in my opinion. So here is the book for the Camelot Oracle. And the first thing you see in this box. So I haven't, um, it's not a tarot deck, it's an oracle, so that's good. I mean, I mean it's not, it's not good or bad. I don't know why I said that, I'm just tired, I suppose. Um... Wow, the artwork on that's pretty cool. Camelot and the Lands, Adventurous. So, you know, here we're right into the cards. Part two, the archetypes. What I say is patience and shuffle the card. Miguel de Cervantes, Don Quixote. Okay. Part one, Camelot and the Lands, Adventurous. Talking about archetypes and so forth. And then what the actual archetypes are. Part four, places. Okay. So the cards apparently have different... Um, kind of like different suits, maybe? Now I'm just going to kind of flip through how to read the cards flip through it sort of backwards, the places, the paths, okay, the archetypes, most of them are the archetypes, oh, I'm just, oh, a little tangled, the cover, the back, just gonna, See now, we've got this paper that folds out, some type of, oh, okay, this is really beautiful, it's the same as what was in the front of the book, this is gorgeous, I don't know if this is for laying out cards, or if it's just... Something you could hang up. It's 
it's really beautiful. Um, I don't know, I guess we'll see eventually. Maybe we'll just keep it in there to pull it out to look at. Maybe we'll hang it up on a wall. <sighs> Again with these inset boxes. The box starts so promising and then ends with this thing. But it's it's whatever. As the kids say these days, that's whatever. Here's the back of the card. And got the copyright on both sides, making it reversible. The card stacks it feels pretty decent, kind of thick. Feels um for the most part, it feels like cardboard. So. Oh. These are probably not in order since I did get them second hand. So I'm just. And um, I'm not hugely aware of all Arthurian legends, so I probably won't know a lot of these. Lynette. Oh. So this is a places, or a path. This is a path, the honored path. Wow. I, I love the artwork on these, but it's so different that it doesn't even look like it's the same deck. <clears throat> these do feel really cardboardy. The doubtful path. Okay. This is a path I want to check out. The Doubtful Path. The Wandering Path. The Churning Path. How about that? The Determined Path looks, um... Perilous. The determined path looks perilous. The resolute path. Oh, pretty. I feel more almost like these are cards to a game. The deepening path. The hero's path. Merlin. There you are, you old so-and-so. Yeah, don't be fooled by Disney. <laughs> don't be fooled by Disney at all. Boars. Looks to be imprisoned with some light coming in. Nasians. Galahad. Son of Lancelot. Very interesting looking fellow. The man himself, King Arthur. Pretty sure he was played by Sean Connery in uh, the movie Excalibur. Pele's Palace. He looks a little beleaguered. His little bow. It's like a basket that's not, he's not, he's a little too big for. <clears throat> Percival. Oh. Yes, he was, he was the good, the goody goody of the gang. I think he may have found the grail.
Blaze. Blaze was a place. Or maybe Percival saw the grail, but didn't go any further. Can't remember exactly. Dendrine. Dendrine? I like her. I like her face. Morgana. Love this card. Um, a man guns, I guess, is his name. He might be a baddie, I don't know. <laughs> he has a rather sinister look about him. Pelinor. I can't remember if Pelinor was the one that was looking for the questing beast, which was kind of, seemed a bit like a ridiculous story to me, but, or like that it was meant to be ridiculous. Um, but I'm not sure. Palamedes. You know, sometimes it's hard to tell. Palamedes. Especially when it's men. Because sometimes they take some things very seriously that appear as though, or that appear as though they're obviously ridiculous, but then you discover, nope, nope, they're very serious about that. Lancelot. I always think about the, the movies and the TV show The Highlander, which I loved. I loved as a young adult Gareth but I never got the main premise of there can be only one like why it was never explained why there could be only one they just said it and everyone you know believed it and followed it Elaine of Kerbanek and then somewhere along the line it dawned on me that it wasn't explained because it didn't need to be explained to men because that was kind of better there in the patriarchal world view of domination it makes sense Balan in the Boy's world of the king of the hill. It makes sense. There can be only one. At the top. And so the others. Knowing that they all want to be at the top. The only way to ensure. You'll stay at the top. Was Guinevere. Did I say her name? Would be you know. To destroy all the others. I don't know how I got onto that topic. Go Wayne, am I know? Um Sir Kay. He looks like a miserable beast. <laughs> he really does. I wonder try it or Dagonet. I'm wondering about this oracle and how it works. Because it clearly works differently than your standard oracle. Lady of the Lake. I. I green. I green. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But I do love her face and her clothes and her everything about this picture. The throne and the rocks and the hills in the background. There's rocks and there's water. I 
Uther. Kundry. She looks like a a witch, like a witch that was in a hut or something. I don't know because I don't remember her, but. Ragna. Oh boy. Interesting. The more I handle these cards, the more I hate the card stack. I hate the feel of them. Compared to any other cards that I have, they just don't feel great. White Heart. I mean, but... Wow. It's the Questing Beast. Fabulous. Berkalek. He's fabulous. I don't know him from the story. I just am digging him from his picture. Swipe. Left. Right. Which way is it to, for keepers? I don't know. <laughs> Swipe left. Swipe right. I think left is to get rid of him. Because left is usually considered bad. As a lefty, I protest. And the last one I get to see is Mordred. Okay. So, yeah, I'm interested in finding out the... Um, system of this. And how to work with it. I have no idea. So, I didn't have a lot to say about these. Um, I mean... Most of the faces are kind of on the grotesque side. Except him, he's beautiful. And he's half red and half green. I'm not even kidding. I really love that guy. Um, yeah. I think the women look fabulous. He reminds me of Danny Trejo. <laughs> and so he, there's really nothing wrong with his face. There's nothing wrong with her face. Um, in fact, this is one of the most real looking ones to me. Mm. Not my favorite Lady of the Lake depiction. Anyway, but a lot of the men have... Wow, does he remind me of somebody I know? Really, um... The ruins. I love ruins. I don't even think, sometimes the first time you look through the cards is not really enough. Uh, so I was commenting on the faces of the men, and then I see, you know, they don't all have these qualities. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what I, actually there's something I like about him and something I dislike. And this guy I like too, to tell you the truth. Uh... I love these line drawings. I'm very uncertain of how I feel about this art. Like, part of me likes it. Some of them feel more cartoony than others. Um, don't like the feel of the cards. Uh, but I'm interested in how they all work together. So, I guess I'll have to come back at some point and do a more thoughts, deeper thoughts on this deck. 
So that was a flip through. It's been 20 minutes, probably more, than it, longer than it needs to be. But until next time, tarot friends, uh, give me a like if you could. Give me a comment because I love comments. Subscribe if you want to see more. Tap the bell. And until next time, be well.